Hello, this is lesson 3.5. It's your homework page P53 and 54. We're doing doubles plus one and doubles minus one. So we've been practicing doubles facts in the classroom and you're going to be using your doubles facts knowledge to figure out these addition sentences. So let's look at number one. Seven plus eight equals now, if you don't know what the answer is off the top of your head, you can either use seven, make a doubles fact with seven or eight to find the answer. Let's use seven. So I can do seven plus seven equals. I know that seven plus seven equals 14. But this says seven plus eight, so I have to add one more. 14 plus 1 is 15. So 7 plus 8 equals 15. That was a doubles, and then you had to add 1. So that was doubles plus 1 to get your answer. Let's do another one. Let's do number 3. All right, 4 plus 3. Let me use the 4 as a doubles fact on this one. 4 plus 4 plus four equals eight. All right, but this is four plus three. This is eight, right? Four plus four. So I need to take away one. That would be a doubles minus one so that I can figure out that four plus three equals seven. So on all of these, you're using doubles facts. You're using, it doesn't matter which add-in you use, but you're going to make a double of that add end, and you're going to add that. And then depending on whether you're going one higher or one lower, you're going to do a doubles plus one or a doubles minus one to find the answer. So again, for this one, we use seven. Seven plus seven is 14. Okay, that's a doubles fact, but I had to add one to make 15. On this one, four plus three, we did four plus four equals eight but we had to subtract one to find the sum of seven, seven for four plus three. And that's how you do doubles plus one and doubles minus one.